A new WWE gimmick match has been revealed. We had a shock NXT debut last night. And is Sasha Banks done with WWE? It's all in the wrestling news right now. We're getting a brand new wrestling match, Jack. Innovation continues in the world of the wrestling. You know what? Often when new gimmick matches are announced, Tom, I initially think, oh, they're a bit contrived or they're a bit forced. But mm. this one might have cracked it. My, it sits or it doesn't sit too bad on the contrived side. Yeah, it, it gets. Well, we'll talk about it, and, and your thoughts, of course, would be welcome. Uh, NXT Deadline will feature the first ever Iron Survivor. Iron Survivor. Match. Iron Survivor. It's the thrill of the yeah. fight. Yeah, <laughs> two will take place on the night. One for the men, and uh, one for the women. And it will consist of five challenges in each match. Now, two competitors start every five minutes. Another competitor enters the match, and. It it goes on for a full 25 minutes. The person with the most pinfalls in that 25 minutes wins the Iron Survivor match. If you are, if you get a pinfall, you earn a point. The person that you pin goes into a penalty box for 90 seconds. Mm. Uh, the end result being that whoever gets the most pins, i.e. the most points, becomes the number one contender for their respective championship. Do you think it means, <clears throat> because reading the rules there, I feel a little bit uncertain about one aspect of it. Do you think that it's it's got to be sort of 25 minutes from the moment that everyone's in, surely? It can't just be 25 minutes and that's the whole match. Well, no, because two... people are entering every five minutes. Because two will start, <clears throat> yeah. so then yeah. you'll have three more entrants. But the last person won't have any time to... That's the jeopardy. Oh! I think that's the jeopardy. Okay. So, like, you'll have two that will start, and then you'll have, after five minutes, three... After 10 minutes, four. Yeah. After 15 minutes, five. And then the, the last one's only got 10 minutes to try and get and a fall. And then there's 10 minutes to get pinfall. Whereas Ooh. it's kind of like the reverse the reverse logic of the rumble. Whereas if you come yeah, out yeah. last in the rumble, okay. you've got the advantage. Uh, however, you come out last in this, you haven't. However, yeah. you have a caveat to this. And I quite like this. There's lots of little storyline avenues you could go down. If you're coming out last, sure, you haven't got much time, but everybody's packed. Mm. So you could you could maybe pick up a couple of easy pinfalls. Yeah. There, there is a lot of directions they could go with this. I like it. I think it's a good one, um, and it, and it's gonna be it's gonna be soon. Start of December deadline. Yes, that's it. That's it. And uh, I, I, I like it. We'll see how this one plays out. It's a bit scramble match. It's a bit TLC it's King a of big the Mountain. King of the Mountain. Yeah, without the you know without uh, the whole. I'm gonna put the belt up on the ladder and then take it down I, again immediately. But it's got the penalty thing. box. It's got the penalty it box. Feels very there. sports. It feels like it's putting the sports <laughs> in sports entertainment. Oh, nice. Mm. I like that. Uh, last night on NXT, we had two title matches. Uh, the uh, Bron Breaker defending his title against Von Wagner. More on that in a moment. Uh, but we had the women's match headlining the show. Alba Fire challenging Mandy Rose in a last woman standing match for the NXT women's title, where we had a shock debut, didn't we, Jack? We did, and it cost Alba Fire the match. It looked as though she was about to win. She had the match won. She was about to leap from a ladder and put Mandy Rose through the announce table. I believe, but then she was shoved off the ladder by the debuting Isla Dawn of dun, NXT dun, UK. Mm, she hasn't been seen since NXT UK as well. No, nah, she had a belter of a, of a feud with Mako Satamora. Yes. And uh, she spat mist in Alba's face. I think it was mist. And then pushed her off the ladder through the Oh, yes, the table. mist as well. That was a crucial a detail. Sorry. Yeah, because Alba, because uh, Isla Dawn had that sort of spooky, scary skeletons gimmick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Before she left. Uh, so that, now, I know that they were high on her initially in NXT UK. I don't remember her name coming up as one that was released. I think there was a couple that didn't get released. Right. Who who, st who were still on the roster page. I don't remember her name being I think, it was, I think it was her and Noam Dar. Right. Okay. Who were still technically employed by the company. Okay. Um, so Mandy Rose continues her record-breaking reign as NXT Women's Champion. She does. And... and I enjoy when someone loses a match, but their next storyline is quickly upon them, so it doesn't feel like they're spinning their wheels for too long. And that's good for Alba Fire, I think, because even though she lost the match, she's got a new feud straight away. How about Von Wagner? Well, I'm just disappointed, what about Tom. Them I'm, just, I'm just sad on her, so there we go. Yeah, in the, in the, uh, the alarm bells were ringing when this was the opening match of the night. I thought they're not going to do a big title change in the opening match of the night. Mm. Uh, Bron Breaker did defeat Von Wagner to retain the NXT Championship, <clears throat> but I think his next competitor is pretty much set in stone. It is, well, it is because last night, JD McDonough and, and Apollo Crews both wanted a piece of the action. Later that night, Crews beat McDonough mm. and they did the obligatory stare down between Cruz and Breaker. Hey, I, I thought they were setting up. I know he's already lost to Bron Breaker, but the, he 
he was still very prominent in storylines. I thought they were setting up JD McDonough to be the next contender and possibly the person who would be Bron Breaker for the championship. But he lost that match against Apollo Crews, which I haven't seen in full yet, but people are saying was a really good match. Yeah, yeah, there was this is awesome chance from the mm. NXT center, performance center as the match went on. It was uh, it was a good time. I, I'm I'm kind of glad it's Apollo Crews. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, like uh, JD McDonough, I feel like he's had about 400 shots. He's only probably only had about three. But I feel like he's he's been in the maybe he, he, only he's two, been the bride's been a few so many, times yeah, now. Yeah. Um, I st- I'd, I'd like it as a matchup. I think I, I've not been wild on Apollo Cruz's character with the whole I can see the future, but not really. But can I? Mm. Like I find that a bit strange. But there's no design that you know he's he's capable of having really good matches. He saw the NXT title in his future. Oh, he did, but. But is it tainted? Did he just see it in a way that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to win the belt? Yeah, he walks past it at one point. It's <laughs> like a start of vision. He walks past it. No, 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 oh, right, no, no. Okay, no, no. When say. you play out more oh. of the vision, you know. <laughs> I thought you meant the vision was that rubbish. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no the, the, sto- the story is like what's going on around the vision. It's very yeah. that's so Raven. It is. Um, next week, we don't need a vision to tell us this. He's here next week. It's Citizen Scrooge. Citizen Scrooge. It's script. Script was back with another message. We saw, uh, well, on one of the three occasions so far, I believe, we've seen a hooded figure spraying on the walls mm. of the performance naughty center. Naughty boy. Very naughty or indeed. Girl. Or girl. Or that, non-binary. That figure was back in a black hood with their identity hidden in the empty performance center. How did they get in? They explained via voicemail saying, your cameras couldn't catch me. I got past your guards with ease. Now that I'm here, everything after this will only be a breeze because I'm fast as lightning, smarter than you think. Moves are incredible. You'll miss it if you blink. Next <laughs> next week, you will see that you and I aren't the same. So tell me, time to play the game. Who's the first to play a little game? Sincerely, script. I've got it. I've got Triple it. H, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Triple H is Triple H is coming back. Who he is? writes the scripts. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Triple H is. Out. I'm That's gonna, how he got in. I'm working from the ground oh, up. I'm going to start an NXT. The coin. Uh, oh no, but who do you? Who is it, Tom? Who have you? Well, look at this. Like fast as lightning, mm-hmm. uh, getting past the guards. Play a game. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it is Sonic the Hedgehog as well. It's the debut of Sonic the Hedgehog. What a cash in for Sonic Frontiers, which is available now. Sonic the Hedgehog is scripts. On a- Get in! <laughs> Oh no, because now I'm just picturing him getting hit with a movie. I'm getting. Well, think about it. You, this makes sense in Sonic's voice. Your cameras couldn't catch me. Uh, I got past you guards with ease. Um, I think you Dol- want to play a game, Robert Nick. Doesn't Dolph Ziggler have the same voice as Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> I think he does a little bit. Yeah, I'm um, here to lose a match. I don't, uh, the, on a serious note, this this seems to as serious as we can be about scripts. Script. This seems to. We were thinking, oh, it's going to be some monstrous force coming to take over NXT. Yeah. This has changed my expectations a little bit now I think it's a it's a flippy person it's a speedy boy it's a speedy person or girl or non-binary it could be I mean yeah it, do, it does change it because I did I was like you thinking the old uh, big Thanos yeah. style invasion but now it feels a bit like somebody a bit cheeky <laughs> you yeah. just like oh got past you guys oh it's cheeky <laughs> scripts <laughs> interesting old scripts you're so cheeky yeah and uh, we'll find out next week properly uh, let's end on a bit of Sasha Banks news right. now um, read into this what you will uh, WrestlingNews.co revealing that Sasha Banks' company, Solnado Incorporated, filed for the following trademarks. Mercedes Monet, Monet Talks, Bank Monet, and Statement Maker. Right. Lot kind of, of feels like an ex-WWE gimmick. A lot of things, I mean, we know that Sasha's... And yeah, it does feel like an ex-WWE thing, but it also feels, I think, like a... Not not even necessarily a different wrestling promotion. We know that Sasha's interested in fashion and music and all these different facets. She's done acting before. It's really hard to tell what she's going to do next. But we do know that she has been training recently in mm, the wrestling. Hanging out with Juventud Guerrero at yeah. one point, like you do. Uh, I think there's... I get the vibe this is... As you say, it could be a fashion thing. It could be for a TV product project. That feels like somebody kind of getting their ducks in a row for a because so they wouldn't be able to be called Sasha Banks outside so you think of WWE. Mercedes Monet would be the the, the name. Rest. Monet talks a catchphrase, catch maybe. Phrase. The other two moves: Bank Monet and Statement, Statement. Maker. Statement Maker definitely that's, sounds that's like the a bank statement, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Mm. For speculation forever, friend. Mm. Uh, also, Comic Con Revolution announced the Mercedes Vernado for their event in May, and she's listed as formerly known as Sasha Banks. Oh, my word. 
I think she's. I think she's done. I think she's away. I tell you what, if she if she goes to AEW, she's not one of those people that Tony should push for about a month and then forget about. She's Sasha Banks. You oh. can't do that, Tony. Why am I already getting ahead of myself? We, we don't know what. <laughs> We don't know what she's going to do, but... What's Mercedes Monet doing in the Impact Zone, <laughs> my girl? She is... She is and, and Naomi's exciting as well. We need to hear more about what Naomi's going to do also. Well, that's it, because Naomi's fallen off the ball. I know uh, Mercedes and Naomi spent... Uh, Mercedes and Trinity spent a lot of time together outside of WWE. Okay. There were a few uh, press events together and a few red carpet walks and fashion shows They did and the stuff. fashion thing together, yeah. But um, n- there's been nothing in terms of, like, what uh, Naomi is copyright or trademarked or where she's at obviously she's got family connections within wwe yeah that might make her stick around potentially uh, but all we do know is uh mercedes monet coming to the impact zone near you oh, <laughs> we don't know that we don't know that we don't know. definitely know that, we don't know, that. We, don't know. No, we don't know that we don't know that we do know there's more wrestling news throughout your day at cultaholic.com and nine pitches later on today on the youtube channel myself andrew and ross will be doing nine pitches for uh full gear which takes place this weekend um and it should be it should be a good laugh we haven't shot it yet so i don't know how good it is the debut of mercedes monet Oh, possibly. That's not one of mine, but someone might have done it. I'll leave that with you. Okay. <laughs> More interesting news throughout the day, as we say, at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.